Hello and welcome to one of the Tech Byte video by CMG. My name is Reza Malakuti and in this video I would like to show you how to perform the VLP matching in Kofino in order to generate the leaf tables for IMAX, GEM and STARS dataset. The pressure drop required to lift the fluid through the well bore at a specific rate uh, determines the well deliverability. The vertical lift performance or VLP curve provides a relationship between bottom hole flowing pressure caused by the pressure drop along the well bore and the well flow rate where uh, such a curve is valid only for one specified well head pressure. As you can see from the right hand side picture, the VLP is the plot of the bottom hole pressure on the Y axis versus the rates on the X axis and each VLP has been generated for each specific wellhead pressure. The VLP curve is required as an input to the reservoir simulator if user would like to calculate the pressure drop between the bottom hole and the wellhead nodes inside the well. VLP curve matching is performed to achieve a reasonable agreement between the measurements such as pressure temperature inside the well and those predicted by the well bore model. There are the well parameters which are usually regressed in that uh, well bore model in order to tune the model. These properties include friction and uh, gravity components of the pressure loss in the well bore and the heat transfer components used to uh, model the heat loss along the well bore. Now let's have a look inside CoFlow software to see how we can do this kind of VLP matching. Uh, first of all, in this example, we have set up a, a well bore model using uh, two guided tasks in here, fluid guided task and the uh, well guided task. Within the fluid guided task, we have used the black oil correlation approach to model the PVT using the phase densities, uh, reservoir temperature, and the gas oil ratio. And inside the well guided task, there are a couple of stages in here that user is required to input them in order to build the well bore model. In the defined wells, we usually define the trajectory of the well, and in the perforations and equipment, we define the structure of the well bore and also assign the IPR models in there. Then in the specify well test data is the stage that user can input all the test measurements or uh, well bore measurements that they might have at uh, different dates on a specific well. From the item in here, user is able to check uh, the box of the properties which are available in a, uh, in a kind of test. As you can see in the table in, of, uh, in the middle, we can see the measurements that we had in this uh, well example at uh, three different uh, dates. And the information are uh, the uh, liquid rates, uh, gas oil ratio, water cut, and also the uh, top hole or well head pressure and temperature. In the case that we have some further temperature and measurements inside the well, user can click on that button in here and then add those pressure temperature measurements along the measure depth of the well. Let's click OK and then go back to the main interface of the software. To do the performing, to do the VLP matching, uh, user needs to go to the uh, nodal analysis uh, tab in here, click on that one, and then uh, from the list in here, user would, would be able to see the all of the uh, well models that has been uh, built in the CoFlow. In our case, there is only one well producer available. Then, by press that button, we create a nodal analysis 
to start with our calibration process, both on the temperature and pressure measurements. In the first analysis, we do the uh, thermal calibration. And in the well customized section, we need to uh, determine the most uncertain parameter in order to do the regression and tune the wellbore model. Our property would be the overall heat transfer coefficient. By checking that item, we parameterize this uh, property. Click OK. And then check the box for use the well test data. And then click on Customize. In here, we need to select uh, one of the uh, tests available from the list. In this example, we select that date. By selecting the date, you can see also the detailed information and the measurements that we had on that specific date. We now click OK. And then from the list here, we check the uh, thermal calibration mode. In the last step, we just need to define the type of the rate at the node in that test, which was the uh, liquid rate standard condition with the default value of 2100 STB per day. Now click OK to start with the uh, thermal calibration. OK, the results of the calibration can be now visualized under the uh, profile tab in here. <coughs> As you can see, the uh, red plus is the uh, temperature measurements in the well. And you can see that the original value of the overall heat transfer coefficient has been changed from 2 to uh, a value of uh, 5.44 in order to get the best match with our temperature measurements. In this plot, you can also change the property on the uh, x-axis in here into other available parameters as you can see from this list. You can also get access to the uh, data points of uh, this plot by going into uh, that option in here and then uh, take them out if uh, you would like to do uh, additional studies or calculations on these uh, sort of uh, uh, numbers here. Okay, that was the thermal calibration. In the next step, we do the uh, calibration on the pressure. To do that, again, we add another uh, nodal analysis uh, study. First, we define a name for our task in here, which is the uh, pressure drop calibration. Now, in the well customize, first we go to the tubing section and changed our value of the overall heat transfer coefficient into the one that we just uh, got from the uh, thermal calibration stage. And now we turn the calibration mode in here into uh, defined for entire well, and then check this too for both gravitation and friction multiplier. So we parameterize these properties now in order to tune our model against the uh, pressure drop uh, along the uh, uh, model. Click OK now. And then we check the use well test data and go to the customize and again choose the same date as before. Click OK. And then from the list, select the pressure drop calibration. Like in the previous stage, again we define the type of the rate, which is the liquid rate standard conditions, and then we click OK to start with the pressure drop calibration.
Okay, now when the calibration is finished, we go to the profile plot again and then uh, compare our kind of uh, tune model results, which is this uh, blue curve with the original uh, red curve, which was presenting the uh, pressure drop along the well. As you can see, uh, the uh, gravitation multiplier has now been changed into uh, point, uh, 0.9 now in order to get the best match with the uh, pressure measurements. So now we have done the uh, VLP matching. We can close this uh, Nodal Analysis Manager dialog and then go back into the uh, perforations and equipment stage of the well and then update our uh, properties that we had for the uh, overall heat transfer uh, coefficient first and also on the calibration mode we turn it on for defined for entire well and then we just change the gravitation multiplier to uh, 0.9 as we obtained that value from the pressure drop calibration and then press this uh, green button to validate our uh, stage. After we have tuned the wellbore model, now we can use the uh, lift table option in CoFlow to generate the lift tables, which user uh, later on can use them for uh, IMEX, GEM, or a STARS data set. In order to uh, do this uh, generation of the lift table uh, you go to the perforations and equipment stage in here and then there is an option called lift tables click on that one and then press on that uh, button to create the lift table select the well and then uh, populate uh, the properties for uh, for example rates, uh, gas fraction, and etc. For the primary flow rate, uh, we select the uh, liquid rate, and then we use the auto fill option in here to give a range of the values from 100 STB per day to 10,000 STB per day with the uh, number of uh, 10 data points. And the data interval could be either linear or logarithmic. Click OK. The top hole pressure, uh, we just click uh, to add a two value for the wellhead pressure, 200 PSI and 400 PSI. For the gas fraction, we just choose the GOR with the single value of 800 ST. SCF per STP and for the water fraction we select the water cut with the single value of 0. When you are finished with this uh, uh, information just click OK and then click OK to schedule a job to perform the calculations required for uh, generating these uh, VLP curves. As you can see, this uh, status in here uh, is, is showing you that where the uh, calculation uh, would be uh, started for generating those uh, lift uh, tables. And now, as you can see, on the left-hand side, we have the plot of our VLP uh, based on the information that we just uh, input into the software. Now, in order to export this uh, VLP, you go to the option called Export a Lift Table in here, and then select Export to IMEX file, which in that case, you just need to select a directory on your machine, and then click OK to save the VLP on that specific location. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for your time and attention.